Hello everybody and welcome to another indie... I don't know if I'm going to be calling it a horror game, honestly. I'm not really sure if that's how you classify this. It's more experimental from what I've read about it. It's called Tonight You Die. And the gist of it is that I'm going to be thrown into an abandoned, desolate cityscape, I believe they described it as. And I'm only equipped with a note that says Tonight... Well, this is the note, I assume. A note that says Tonight You Die. And the gist of the gameplay is that I'm just going to be exploring this desolate cityscape, just wandering around, waiting for death, basically. So I'm not exactly sure if it's a horror game, so I'm going to classify it as experimental. Really. So if that's your thing, stick around. If it's not, maybe try another video. But uh, here we go. We're, we're thrown straight into it. This must be the, the desolate cityscape. Okay. Right, before I go on, on any further, if you want to try this out yourselves, you absolutely can. I will put a download link in the description below. You can download it for free, and you can also download it and donate to the creator if, really, if you really wanted to. Okay, so it, it's like, I, I, I don't know if this is actually meant to take place in a certain year, or, or place, or anything like that, but it looks like I'm going back a couple of decades to maybe like an Eastern Bloc country. Every building seems to look like a very boring grey car park. Or in this case, over here, a Jenga game gone horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> so yeah, let's just let's just start exploring. I don't really know where to begin. I'm just gonna stop sort of wander around and then <laughs> wait for death, I guess. I don't know. So in the background is going to be a soundtrack by uh, a group or a band called uh, Gripped, I think, G-R-Y-P-T. I don't know if that's like, um, how you're going to pronounce the name or anything, but yeah, um, apparently the game is based around that track, and I think that's probably what we're hearing right now. And honestly, it's kind of making me a little bit paranoid. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they were going for. But it certainly seems to be working. It is kind of eerie, actually. All this. And the music certainly isn't helping. The game's meant to have some rather dark themes, so that's why uh, I almost called it a horror game. I'm just not, sure, not, not really so sure what those themes are. Uncomfortable music, perhaps? This place is weird. It's like I'm... It, well, it feels like I'm trapped. I guess that's kind of um, what they're going for. And it really does feel like I'm being stalked as well. Something's following me. I'm getting paranoid now, right? Can we uh, can we go in this building? Find some sort of refuge? Fucking hell, that sound. Is that part of the soundtrack or is that a sound effect? What the hell? This is like Silent Hill-esque, if anything. I can't run, I can't jump, I can't crouch. I, I can zoom in with right click. That's about it. And I'm, uh, I'm getting lost. Perhaps that's what the music's about. Maybe that's how you're meant to interpret it. I'm getting, I'm getting panicked because I don't know where I'm going. Although I seem to be fine right now and I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. And is there a staircase just to go over this wall? Delightful. Oh, you can go around as well. <laughs> it does, still doesn't make much sense. Uh, okay. I'm, uh... I'm kind of liking this. I don't mind, you know, trying out one of these games every once in a while. Very sort of non-linear. Sort of do your own thing and interpret it the way you would like to interpret it. Keep seeing these things that like they look like monuments or statues. I don't know if they have any significance. Perhaps some people watching will find more significance than I will. I don't know. That's the sort of the beauty in these games. If you can call them a game. <laughs> some people can't. So yeah. How how's it gonna happen then? That's what I'm wondering. How am I going to die? Who wrote that note? Did I write that note? Did I I die? No, it was, to, it was tonight you die, wasn't it? So somebody else wrote it. And, like, gave it to me on a postcard. Recently, as you might know, I've actually been taking recommendations of indie horror games to play for my channel. And that's worked out great. But this actually isn't one of those games that has been recommended to me. This is one I found myself. So, 
if this turns out to be shit, you know who to blame. Um, but if you do actually have an indie horror game that I haven't actually played on my channel yet and you'd like to see a video of it, please leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. The game is meant to last like 10 to 15 minutes as I understand it. Okay, it's a bit different. Holy shit. Is that a staircase? Okay. Can we go up? I guess so. Uh, yeah. Another, like, monument thing over there. It's like some sort of weird modern art. But no, we're going up now. Okay. This is this is promising. I think we're making progress. And I was just going to say the music stopped, so that's that's got to be good, yeah? It's like somebody took all the doorways away. It's very strange. How does this go, anyway? Like, eight, nine plus floors, maybe? What am I on now? Fifth? Sixth? Seventh? <laughs> well, I'm going higher than most of the buildings around me. Yeah, but I can see the roofs now. There's one over there that's quite tall. This one keeps going up, though. This one might be the tallest of the lot. I'm sort of going through this game half expecting a jump scare because of the music. I, I don't know if this is actually a horror game. I don't know if that's what I should expect. <laughs> we just keep going, don't we, apparently? How many more floors? Bloody hell, there's loads! This, this music is actually giving me goosebumps. It's making me quite uncomfortable. This is, uh, this is quite fun, in a way. In a strange way. If, jeez. If the game's trying to scare me, it's going about it in a very unique way. Do we just keep going? What the fuck? Can I even see the, I can't even see the floor anymore. I can't see the roofs of the other buildings either. Oh, hang on. We might be right near the top. We are at the top. Okay, let's let's have a look at the beautiful view of black. <laughs> oh, no. We're not at the top. There's more to go. Jeez. Really unnerving. I guess let's just keep going up. I mean, we've come this far, right? <laughs> this, there seems to be more staircases to climb. I guess this is leg day at the gym for me, right? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Right, now we must be at the top. Aha! Uh -huh. Right. Okay, no going back, is there? The, uh, the dark themes? In this game? Are they, are they meant to be suicide? There's no way off, is there? Minus jumping. Here we go. Ouch. Tonight I die. That is very, very accurate, yeah. By my own hand. Strange little game. Experimental is, I think, the perfect way to describe that. Not for everyone. You can interpret it in many, many different ways. Music was quite good, um, actually. It really did sound like it was made um, for like a Silent Hill game or something like that. And yeah, grips, G R Y P T. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Uh, I hope to see you in another one very, very soon.